Hello, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Shining Pearl Poison Monotype. Now, you might be thinking, wait, isn't it on the schedule that you're supposed to be playing Legend of Arceus? Yes, that's correct. But also, there's a temporary event going on in this game right now, and I wanted to get it done before that ran out. Um, so, there's two things I'm going to do in this game. It's going to be very brief. Um, one of them is here, and the other one's over here. We're going to start with, uh, the one over here. Um, once I'm done with this, then we're heading straight back over to, um, Legends Arceus, but I did want to do this first. So, there is an event going on. Ember card gift. Here's what we got, a member card times one. It's for this. The Harbor Inn, a roost for restless sailors, it now says. Instead of uh, text, the text is too uh, faded to read, a roost for restless sailors. Enjoy sweet dreams in our sumptuous beds. Where do I need to go? There's got to be a uh, something for this. Oh, ick, and now I can go in. Never mind. I just was clicking on the door. Welcome. Kick, kick, kick. We've had a reservation for you. We've held it a long time. You lay down on the bed as if bidden there. Oh dear, this wasn't even... Okay. So, yeah, uh... <sighs> you might recognize this music. It's the same as was playing in Turnback Cave. There's no sailor here, so we can't leave. There's a reason why I saved before coming here. This is New Moon Island, right next to Full Moon Island. Full Moon Island is a round crescent-shaped pond that lies inside a closed-off forest. New Moon Island, a small round pond that lies inside a closed-off forest. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's a thing. Darkrai appeared. It's level 50, so it shouldn't be that hard. The hard part will be not killing it. I think if I bite one more time, then it'll be in perfect range. Or I'll kill it. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll just keep going with light. There. That did 30 power, effectively. And this would do 110? 100 hundred and five. Yeah, I'd kill it. That would do even more, and that would be uh, that would do 160. So yeah, fight is the way to go. Yeah, if I hit it again with a D, I'm going to kill it, so... Do I have a weaker hitter? Perhaps. I could go with Hex from Tintagruel. That would work. Sure, let's do that. have a really low chance to hit. Yay. That said, Hypnosis only has 60 accuracy, so... Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna start using timer balls now. Pentacle's great to sit out there and stop hits because, I mean, it does have leftovers. Okay. Timer balls. Here we go, we've got 22 of them. Hopefully that's enough. Darkrai does have the standard uh, catch rate of 3 for legendaries, so it's not like I have a great chance of catching it right now, but it's much better than it would be at full health, so, you know.
Okay, so each individual chance of catching it is 4.55%, and the total chance is 64% out of the 22 timer balls I have. So, hopefully I can catch it. Oh boy, now we get to see its ability. Darkrai has bad dreams. It deals one-eighth of your health and damage every turn that you're asleep. Aha! Cut it! Darkrai's data will be added to the Pokedex. Darkrai, the pitch black Pokemon. Folklore has it that on moonless nights, this Pokemon will make people see horrific nightmares. Let's go ahead and add that to my database. I add uh, that I have caught a Darkrai. It has bad dreams. It's level 50. No nickname for Darkrai. A voice called out from somewhere. Darkrai, your power is strong. Though you don't will it, you make people and Pokemon around you see terrible nightmares. That is why you came here, New Moon Island. Here, there is no one but you. There are none that can be drawn into your nightmare. And if anyone were to fall into the nightmares, Full Moon Island is close by. Woke up! Yeah, we didn't sail there, we just, uh, were drawn into the nightmare. You've been asleep for a long, long time. What happened to you? What were you doing here? No one has lived here for 50 years. The text is too faded to read. But... Our battle was real. Here's Darkrai. Oh man, I got a fast one. That's nice. So yeah. That's the encounter for the event. Now, we're not done with the event yet. Well, it's not an event, per se. But we're not done with it, <laughs> with this game yet. Just a little more. I totally could have done this last time, by the way, I just forgot. I was excited to be done with this game, and I, <laughs> I totally forgot about Spiritomb. It's the Hallowed Tower. There's some sort of presence. It appears ready to emerge. That means we're not done yet. Oh boy, it's that time. We're going to the Grand Underground! So, in order to get Spiritomb to appear, you need to talk with 32 people. To my knowledge, there are only 32 people. Um, in the, uh, out of the NPCs that may appear in the Underground. There is one that will appear randomly here. There, it's normally Seamus. Normally Seamus, but sometimes it can be other people, they just randomly appear. On a different file, I got Spiritomb by just going to Seamus or his replacement over and over and over again. There will always be one here. The hikers there don't count, so don't bother with talking to them, but you just have to chat with them. You don't have to care about what they say or whatever. They just have to, you just have to chat. There will always be one here, 
out of these spots. And it seems. Okay. And I will just be going back and forth and back and forth uh, for ten times, and then I will go back up and see if it's work uh, ready. It's ready to emerge means that we've probably only got, like, uh, one to three left to talk to. So... I'm gonna get um, five encounters that aren't Seamus, and uh, and then go back up and check, is what I'm gonna do. So, as for getting five encounters that are not Seamus, it's entirely up to luck. I could be down here for half an hour, or I could be down here for ten minutes. It's not that hard to do this, it just takes time. Hey, one. Go up. Yes. Yes! I don't know who the last one was, but we found him! Spiritomb, one of the more tedious Pokémon to find. And you might see by its level why I was so worried about killing it. I killed Darkrai for crying out loud, and it was twice the level of Spiritomb. However, Spiritomb also has a much higher catch rate. So, now I have a Spiritomb! Let's put that on my list. It has pressure, and it's level 25. Spiritomb, Forbidden Pokémon. It was bound to a fissure in an odd keystone as a punishment for misdeeds 500 years ago. Its Sinnoh dex number is 108. It's said to be made from 108 spirits. There is one more Pokémon that uh, I could get right now, and it's, uh, that I was thinking about, and it's like, I could get Phoebus. I'm not getting my Lodic, though, so, uh, because it's a pain. So, uh, so, uh, I'm not going to. Um, this is where we're going to sit it. I do have another key, odd keystone, though, so I'll put it back in. And I can get, uh, another one. If I want to. I probably won't. Anyway, we now have a Spiritomb. That's it for this game.